guys welcome to day or day two part two of the uh, art haul for 2020 so this is I'd say I probably have one more art haul for this year and but this is the biggest one so last time we talked about luminance pencils and um, a few other things bits and pieces and then um, today we're going to talk about watercolors some of these are um, you know from quite large brands like White Knights and Roman Schmoll and some of them are from handmade artisan makers so they're all really beautiful and we're going to swatch them in this handmade sketchbook so I have this one which I do have a video of really really love this one and I will definitely be repurchasing us repurchasing it so this one is from um, paper from the Amalfi Coast in Italy and I think last time I kept saying from the French coast I think I had the French Riviera on my brain but um, this one is from the yeah the Amalfi Coast in Italy and it's a really beautiful sketchbook I've got a video all about it but um, for the meantime I just I created this sketchbook here out of my favorite cotton paper um, and I there is a video coming up about this and just a few tips and tricks on um, scoring and um, tearing the paper and um, where to get ribbons from and things like that and um, so that's what we will be using today and I thought those would also be really nice to give as like little watercolor gifts for Christmas and maybe creating some dot card palettes for people um, so yeah the, these kind of this video is all geared up to um, be thinking about Christmas and maybe what you want on your wish list and um, maybe even creating like a little 12 days of Christmas or advent calendars for people so um, the first thing we're going to sketch is uh, what am I saying the first thing we are going to swatch are the blues so there are quite a few blues here and I also pulled two out of uh, that handmade palette that I just showed and just so that we can kind of reference those against each other so the first one here and you can see how beautifully it re-wet so this is Cambridge this is from a new shop to me so this is KJ Designs by Karen and um, yeah this was recommended by one of you so several of the things today are from recommendations I think I have one recommendation left to try which is the Daniel Smith Red of Shot. but I think uh, a lot of the other recommendations are covered uh, in this video and then so this one here is the Schwinker Ice Blue it's the limited edition one and I had missed out on the first uh, release and I was um, really hoping that I could get my hands on one so it's such a beautiful color um, it's really really stunning so I put the eternal summit next to it so this is the Isaro eternal summit and uh, I just wanted to kind of show you a comparison here so the ice blue has a little bit more purple in it and this one here is sort of it's um, it's a little bit greener um, yeah so there's a little bit more aqua in it I would say it leans a little bit more aqua and then this one here is from a new another new shop this is copper and this is by KW art so she has some really beautiful colors that are more earthy and um, yeah more natural pigments and we'll um, talk about her shop and we'll do some more swatches of some samples that she gave they're really really stunning colors um, yeah So this one here is another one by KJ Designs and this one is Minty, I think Minty or I will, um, what I'll do is I will link the shops below and then I will like put a list of the 
um, colors that were from that shop and this one is another one I just pulled out of the um, palette one of my palettes and this is the Daniel Smith interference blue so I just thought that was another nice um, kind of in with this group you can kind of see this um, the difference with an interference color is you need the actual light to um, help it to, to sort of see that sparkle on it but when the light hits them they're really beautiful and I'll show you a couple of um, mixes with this so this is with the copper and the Daniel Smith interference blue and you can see I'm having a struggle because the paper's not um, stuck down there but um, yeah so one of the really nice ways to use interference colors is to mix them and this one here is with another one of the KW Arts ones I think it's Cassell Earth um, and you can see how beautifully the interference blue just really um, shines in this mix so this next one is from beam paints i really love their paints they're plastic free and the, the just the whole presentation is beautiful the um, pigments and the colors are really beautiful so one of my goals this year was to collect some more beam paints and i am happy to say that that is accomplished but i um i there are a few more there like there's um arctic i'm not sure but there's like wet grizzly and cub brown and yeah there's a few more that i'd like to collect they're really beautiful um okay so this one here is a new um what am i saying guys i'm really tired this morning so um okay that was peacock so that was one that i didn't uh and this one here is loki so this is a sample from nibs and there's already one of these on the way. I really, really loved this. Um, so the peacock there is um, with the KJ Designs ones. These were some of the packages that um, got redirected. And even though the redirection was on it, it ended up back in the UK. Uh, and then she resent it. So it was really lovely of her. She put in a, a few extra um, half pans. Uh, because it had taken so long and I, I just really appreciate that I didn't um, you know it was entirely my fault the um, or you know what it, it was had not it was no fault of hers but um, it was just really lovely um, for these extra colors so I wanted to swatch them they're really beautiful ones and then this one here is the lime from KJ designs so a beautiful um, spring green Okay, so the bronze was from KJ Designs and the Safina is another um, sample from Nibs and that again is on the way. So it's a really stunning like green gold and Nibs, if you've been worried about the shipping, it is down at the minute. So now's a good time to um, grab some of those and there's also 20% off in her shop at the minute as well. So you can see that I just showed you that for the beam paints, um, I did just trim a little tiny bit off the bottom there so that it could fit into the uh, sort of slot in the palette. 
And I don't think I mentioned as well, that Bean Paints was the Robin's Egg. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the Robin's Egg. Um, a couple of these, I'll, I'll just check and I'll put them down below. Um, there's been a lot of filming guys this week and trying to organize um, for December and for upcoming videos. They seem to all be taking a really long time. So um, please bear with me. So I got um, a couple of the colors of the Iron Range, a couple of yellows, and I love her colors. And then the Roman Schmalls uh, was recommended. I think it's been recommended several times in the Titanium Gray. And yeah, I, that's the first time I've tried a Roman Schmalls and it's really beautiful as well. So um, let's see here. So these are some really gorgeous uh, natural pigments from KW Arts. So I ordered several of these and then I asked her about um, a sample of the Glimmer because I think I thought that it would be the same as the Shimmer Iron Glimmer from um, Wallace and Seymour and I know that I get quite a few questions about that and the Wallace and Seymour um, is uh, it's sort of a bespoke that they are really beautiful colors but they're also a little bit difficult some of them are a bit difficult to get out of the um, you know to get out of the tube so like the glimmer iron shimmer is one of my favorite colors but I did have to um, sort of help it out of the tube and I think I have a video about this and and then for one of the other colors I've actually had to cut the back of the tube and sort of scoop it out and then you can get them to re-wet but this is a really lovely option so you know with the Wallace and Seymour you'll get like two half pans out of it so you'll get a little bit more for our value there but with these ones you get um, just the uh, ability to just uh, re-wet the half pan immediately and the half pan is all prepared for you and it's just a really lovely experience so um, these are all sort of samples some of them shimmer so these are the luster and then luster brown but you can see they're granulating they shimmer they're just really stunning colors um, and yeah i i just i really really love these especially for the old masters palette so you can see here this one is a coat de Zor violet which is one of my favorites as well and the one before that so in that that middle line there is the is star stone and um she was actually kind enough to put some of this in it's not something she's currently carrying in the shop but it's such a beautiful color it's sort of like if the um, Moroloni from the top um, the third one on the top row there and the glimmer the first one on the top row had been mixed it becomes this star stone or like a hematite violet and the glimmer iron shimmer so really really lovely color there and um, and then yeah the last one there I just watched was the burgundy gray um, a really another really beautiful color from her shop and then this one here is the Roman Schmalls titanium gray so yes um, really love these colors and uh, again um, so we have kind of more like um, more an expensive colors there and then we have more affordable colors so the Roman Schmall if you're looking to create a palette they are a really really nice option um, yeah really really lovely you're just starting out in watercolor and you just you maybe have student grade and you want to kind of step up and get some artist grade that's a really nice entry point so I'm going to actually get a few more of those and sort of maybe create a little palette to um, just kind of show you what I think of those um, and then this one here is another one from KJ designs this is the chocolate and this one I was umming and ahhing about I wasn't sure and yeah it's one of my favorites it's such a beautiful color um, this one here is from KW Arts it's the pink color and again you can see such a stunning that kind of mauvey color that I'm always sort of mixing and I really really enjoy um, and I love these because I can add them to the kind of old masters palette so because they're um 
you know natural pigments so the one I just swatched here this is the white nights it's the mocha and I got it in the tube not the I think the tubes might be a little bit better quality I'm not sure but it's really really lovely so if you can go for the tubes from white nights I think that's the way to go um, yeah absolutely stunning color and then you can see there the next one I swatched was another freebie from KJ Designs which again I'm so appreciative for and that was Flash and then we had the Nibs Nefertiti so that was a really beautiful one too and they're quite similar just slightly one slightly the middle one sort of slightly more coppery I'd say and then the bean paints I think it's lavender which again really really love it it's more of a gouache but just stunning this one here is a sample from nibs and it's the fay which is again a really beautiful mauve color with like a gold sparkle in it and that is also on my wish list and then we have the madrid so again another just beautiful mauve color this one has more of silvery undertones and then this is again another freebie this is the burlesque so it's just a lovely uh, bright purple color so next we're going to swatch some more of the samples from um, KW Arts and again I am so appreciative of these um, the little palette that she sent of the darker ones that we just uh, swatched on the other page they are some of my favorites if that's one of my favorite things at the minute it's just so beautiful her colors are really really stunning and um, just really easy to work with you can see here like they're just really precious so um, yeah and then she also sent a bunch of little dot samples of some ochres and you can see here these are also really beautiful colors um, so I will just kind of let you watch some of these as well Okay, so this one here is called bezel and it is from KJ designs and it is one of my favorites I've been looking for something like the Sennelier silver ink and it's perfect it's so so beautiful and then this one here is so these two yellows are from colors of the iron range she's one of my favorite paint makers and the first one was the dioxine yellow and the second one is zirconian yellow and I was thinking about maybe putting those into the Old Masters palette as kind of a um, uh, just a more earthy natural yellow so I'm not sure where they'll go yet but and then the last one there was the neon yellow from Nibs it's Moonbeam again I'm um, a really lovely one and then this one here is another one from Bean Paints this is their red I think it's Summer Sun red and just a really lovely um, bright red there and then the last two here are from KJ Designs so this one here is the one that was actually recommended so this is what put me onto her shop and um, yeah it's just full of beautiful paint so um, and I really love how she arranges them in color order as well so you kind of know where everything um, fits and so that is melon and then this one here is the baby pink so yeah two really beautiful pinks there okay so we are almost there 
um, just a couple of extra things you can see here the beautiful little card from beam paints and with a little sample there and I just have that on my desk I really love it so this is the ferris wheel press ink and I got one of these I think last year or the year before I got the cream of earl and I really love it for sketching it's a very light beige and I put it in my fountain pen and I can just um, sketch on top of watercolors or underneath depends you know um, if I want the ink to move a little bit or not and so I got this one for my sister because I just really loved the packaging and I knew she would really love it um, she's not really an ink enthusiast so I've, I've bought her a couple of fountain pens but she's not really um, you know, she doesn't really use them that much so I just knew though that she would really love the packaging which she does and it's gorgeous so that is um, yeah it's it's just a really nice gift if you want to give someone a gift and even if you're not sure if they'll use it it's such a beautiful thing um, just for them to have and a little inspiration so you could see there that I um, I swatched it I'm, I'm so far behind here but I swatched um, it's got it's you can see there it's got a bit of the gold shimmer in it so I really like the Robert Oster rose gilt tint it's got like a silver shimmer in it but um, and you can see the Robert Oster Berry D Arch and the Robert Oster Barossi Gilt I love both of those they're really beautiful and they are on my wish list um, but I really love the samples as well you can get samples I like to get them from Van S pens and um, yeah it's a really nice way to like try out some things maybe for the 12 days of Christmas or for an advent calendar um, and then like one really nice ink like the uh, ferris wheel press one so that they have so many to choose from and they all look so beautiful um, and so then a couple of other things here that I just got this Lux archival paper I wanted to try and the um, yeah the other samples are for another project I'm, I'm working on but um, so here this is coming up next week so we have a couple of videos to start with so there's going to probably be a few of these but um, these again it took me most of the day to record and um, they will they're not edited yet but they're going to be really beautiful so it's going to be uh, videos about drawing the emblems and kind of learning how to draw them so I have um, a, a few different printables in my shop that will kind of help you you know to figure this out and and um, I kind of show you in the videos next week how you can uh, you know kind of go over them with different colors you can cut them out and use them in your sketchbooks and they will teach you to um, be able to create your own emblems so I'm really excited about those videos they have been pretty much coming the whole year so I'm glad I finally got that done and then every day after I've been filming I just kind of give myself a few minutes to do something um, just to kind of unwind it's quite stressful and um, so I just kind of paint something for uh, myself and that's just just a little um, relaxing painting session maybe for 20 minutes or so so the other day I did um, the September and sort of October um, I was just kind of catching up on my nature journal and did the little forget-me-nots in there they've, they've been blooming outside and they're really beautiful we've had a few other wildflowers and then I also one of the other days I did this mushroom so I might um, do a little video about this as well this was just a really nice thing to paint so then the last thing is um, I painted this pumpkin but I do have a little video coming up about that for tomorrow um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this and you can see there's another um, one I'm working on there of some watercolor comparisons so these have been all very um, large kind of scale videos to film so bear with me they are on their way and I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys uh, soon bye